Hi, welcome to Kavis Plants and Orchids. This is the Brahmagamal plant. Commonly we call it as Brahmagamal. It is also known as Dutchman's Pipe Cactus, Princess of the Night, Queen of the Night. And it belongs to the family Cactaceae. Its uh, scientific name is Epiphyllum occipitalum. It is a species of cactus. It rarely blooms at night and by the time it is morning it wither away. It won't wither, it just closes. And uh, we will, when we see the plant, the stems are erect, you can see the stem. Actually this has grown so tall, I have, I have given stakings to keep it proper. In the forest it grows nearby the trees and it develops, you can see roots roots on the nodes and uh, it attaches to the see here also you can see many roots but here it is growing in a pot so it cannot stand erect so I have to give them stakings it is a it's an old plant last year also it bloomed I put a video also and the stems are once the stems come it branches and the stem contains much water. It since it's a cactus family plant, it stores water in the stems also. It is very it can be cultivated very easily and it's a fast growing epiphyllum. It's a commonly grown epiphyllum species plant. And it has many uses in traditional medicine how you can grow I will share you some tips for growing this plant it, it grows quickly in nature and uh, the it does not have leaves actually the foliage which see are modified stems okay this is the foliage you can see many leaves like structures are there they are not leaves they are the modified stems which helps in storing water and the light condition which it need is it grows in the shadier part of the forest so it doesn't need much of the direct sunlight but it still need some sunlight here it is in the eastern side of my garden where it gets the morning sunlight but uh, people who are in north india it cannot survive the heat of the uh, Delhi heat or Rajasthan heat uh, summer season is stored no at that time we have to keep them in a very different uh, don't keep them on the direct sunlight and it cannot it doesn't like the low temperatures of North India and uh, soil requirement is it likes well drained soil airy soil which was slightly acidic in nature here I have provided with sandy soil so that uh, the water drains out easily. I haven't put much of the uh, because it doesn't like moist so uh, conditions. I have put garden soil and 50% sand in while growing it so that the uh, soil will be very airy and the water won't won't be there was stand standing in the pot and it the plant doesn't like a soggy soil where the water is standing and you can see the long long shoots it's so tall it's taller than me actually and uh, blooming occurs in here in Bombay it blooms at this time of the year when the monsoon in between the monsoon it depends upon the places where you grow in some places it has grown early where where the conditions it likes better no so it blooms but for uh, blooming it need potassium rich fertilizer and low nitrogen and banana peel dried and put will be the best fertilizer you can give for this plant 
and watering is it is a succulent plant so it does not need a lot of water to survive so check the soil before watering so it would like to dry out between waterings and the, these are the blooms maybe in one or two days time it will bloom the buds it blooms in the night only and you should keep the plant in a location where it gets shaded sunlight not very ho hot place so that should be the place the location of the plant is very important to get the get blooms in the plant and the propagation is you can just cut a leaf and uh, from the nodes small baby plants will if you keep in sandy soil in a rooting medium the small baby plants will appear or sometimes uh, where the when the after the rainy season no you can see the roots so this is the last year's root actually many roots so uh, th from the stems see here you can see roots so like that roots appear at that time you can just take it out and propagate also and uh, when you are taking the leaf cuttings you take the leaf cutting and keep it for 2 3 days to dry out then grow them in the potting soil but after keeping it uh, in the potting soil for some days maybe for one week don't pour much water to it just keep it in a very slow a very light moist way and here i i'll show you i have grown on small plant actually one small plant was coming out of the leaf so i just kept in a pot this is uh, this is done almost one year back but it's a uh, it is growing like this and see this plant this is almost 10 year old plant so that is why it is so big a magnificent plant you can say so and i haven't seen any pest attack of this plant even caterpillar doesn't like this plant i think so this is all about the cactus plant uh, our brahma kamal which see from long shot it looks like that can't take the full this is how it look actually i have i'm growing them in a big bucket and this plant like to be a root bound so don't change the pot in between when they are small they can be in the small pot once they are big like this unless the uh, pot is broken or something like that don't change the pot in between they like to be root bound only when they are root bound they would they will bloom start blooming so i latch the blooming of the brahmagamal also with this you can watch it beautiful bloom itself is very beautiful here it is a rainy day so little bit light issues are there so if you like the video press the like button if you are a first time viewer consider subscribing many people who are watching are not the subscribers so please subscribe Thank you for watching.